James Martin Knitwiffy is everywhere, and you're on it all the time. Get your guard up. A newly revealed Wi-Fi weak spot puts just about every device at risk, from your work computer to the phone in your hand, and the laptop you towed to the coffee shop. What's especially frustrating is that any potential attack, called crack, would slip in through a vulnerability in a fundamental security protocol. Here's a rundown on all the key information. Now playing watch this Marvel Drops latest Black Panther trailer what happened. A researcher in Belgium named Maybe Van Hoof stumbled across a problem in the code behind WPA2, a protocol that makes wireless connections work in practically every device. The flaw means that all devices are vulnerable to hackers who want to pick up on all the internet traffic flowing in and out of laptops, phones, smart home devices, and anything else with a Wi-Fi connection. Why the name crack it's short for key reinstallation attack. It refers to the trick Van Ho found could be used to open up your internet traffic to hackers, which forces a device to repeat sensitive information to establish an internet connection. Is it as bad as it sounds? The good news is that a hacker has to be nearby to carry out an attack that takes advantage of this problem. The bad news is that the attack could be carried out on virtually anything nearby with a Wi-Fi connection. Your devices are likely vulnerable. What's the best way to protect myself? The most important thing you can do is update your devices as patches become available. Second, y'all want to consider patching your router firmware if the manufacturer doesn't update it for you automatically. Here's a more thorough list of steps to take to secure yourself, and here, from our colleagues at SNET, is list of every patch that's been released so far. Can't I just change my Wi-Fi password? You can change your passwords as an extra protective measure, but this is the least important step. Even though your instinct might be to change your passwords right away, it won't block out hackers who know how to use crack.ca and other people's unpatched devices make me unsafe. Even if you patch your Android phone and your home router, you could be vulnerable if you connect your phone to another unpatched router. On the plus side, Venho found that routers are harder to attack than phones and other devices. For the time being, the safest thing to do is to avoid using Wi-Fi on your phone, if at all possible. Does turning off phone Wi-Fi protect you, or are the cellular networks vulnerable? Cellular networks are not affected by crack. Still, if you really want to turn off Wi-Fi, have at it. On Android devices, that's pretty straightforward. In an iPhone or iPad that runs iOS 11, yeah I'll have to go to settings to do so. Turning off Wi-Fi from the control center that little panel of buttons that appears when you swipe up from the bottom of your screen doesn't turn it all the way off. Is HTTPS at risk? Many websites the ones that start with HTTPS put an extra layer of encryption on your internet traffic to keep it scrambled as it travels to its destination. The crack attack doesn't break this encryption, so the scrambling could help secure your data. However, Van Hoof said, HTTPS alone might not be enough to protect your data if a hacker uses crack to read your internet traffic, considering the number of times hackers have found ways to break the encryption. When will companies starting patching? Windows customers are already protected if they installed software updates released last Tuesday. Apple said it's finalizing patches for iOS, macOS, watchOS, and tvOS that will be available in the next few weeks. Google said it's aware of the problem and will be releasing any patches necessary in the coming weeks. Amazon is also looking into what patches are needed. Router manufacturers Linksys and Netgear both said they're aware of the problem Netgear has begun putting out patches. Samsung products are at risk, and the company hasn't responded to requests for comment on when updates will be available. Do attackers need to have physical or OSIL access to your network, or can they do so remotely? Hackers must be near your device to use this attack. This significantly cuts back on the breadth of attack a single hacker can carry out at once. However, the weakness is currently so pervasive that Van Hoof said everyone should assume all their devices are affected and vulnerable. Originally published October 16 at 10.44 a.m. PT. Updated at 12.38 p.m. PT. Added more background on the nature of crack, as well as information on patches from device makers. Security stay up to date on the latest in breaches, hacks, fixes and all those cybersecurity issues that keep you up at night. CNET Magazine Check out a sample of the stories in CNET's Newsstand Edition.